Welcome to Bear Mountain Greenhouse. I'm Denise and here we are again. But today we're talking about different seeds of vegetables and flowers that I will be starting in the next few weeks, probably up until week 18. So if you're wanting to follow along and grow along, I'm going to share the seeds and varieties that we're growing. So that gives you some time to get some if you want to. So let's get started. So in the vegetable side, we're going to be doing a bunch of herbs, dill, um, oregano, uh, marjoram, those kind of things. And we're going to wait a little bit on the basils. Um, we're going to be doing uh, turnips, uh, hackeray turnips for um, uh, cutting up for salads. And we'll be starting our sweet potato slips. And that's in another week or two. Um, then tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and beans. And I have no super recommendation. We grow bush beans because, you know, we just like to be able to, you know, sit, sit down and pick them on the ground. Um, it's not to say there's anything wrong with climbers. We just aren't set up with that for y right now. Um, I, every year I keep trying new and different peppers and I'm still trying to debating on which ones I'm really going to do. So we'll have to wait and see. I, I make changes right up until the time I sow them. I'm trying to, you know, gauge the weather and what we're going to decide to do with them, that kind of thing. So on the veggies, that's what's coming up between now and week 18. I don't know what week because I base it on what the weather is doing. In terms of flowers, um, I'm going to do more stock and more dianthus in a few weeks forward. Um, the next thing that's coming up is that you might have seen before we did bunny tails. It, it's an ornamental grass and it grew really tall. The reason it grew really tall is it needs to grow a long time before we get to, you know, towards the longest day. It needs that time. And we started them this time last year and they were huge. Now, that means they're on at that time and not later in the fall. And you can do them in later in the fall, but they're only going to be about 12 inches. So you kind of have to decide on that. Um, the same thing with China asters. China asters, we've done a video on that one. And Tony explained long day vegetative growth, meaning you want to get them started and you want them to grow as long as possible before we get to that longest day in June. And then we start move, the clock starts moving backwards and that's the initiation that the uh, China asters need to start the bloom process. So is, if they're really got lots of roots and they got, you know, really good vegetation and they're nice and tall when they bloom, they will, you'll get nice long stems. You can't make that work the other way. Trust me, I've tried. I've had six inches of China asters. Um, Ritabecchia is coming up. Um, pick a variety or a color that you like. I kind of start with some really light ones like Prairie Sun and um, Green Eye, I think it is. And the hard part about Ritabecchia, again, is it needs to grow long into the day you know to that longest day before it gets the signal to bloom and that means you have pretty dark colors in the middle of the summer and you say why i want those in the fall you, i can't fake those i don't know how to fake those to get a sahara rutabecchia to get tall enough you have to start them early but some of them are so dark and brown and it's hard to sell to a designer who's saying I'd like that in October and I'm going well I can't get them in October unless I can 
somehow keep them alive. So pick the colors and styles that you like on Rita Beckia's. Um, I've done them all and they're all have wonderful qualities and I just ones that I like and I know my customers like and those are the ones I'm going to start. Um, straw flowers. Uh, another one um, where there is a quite a few straw, uh, straw flowers that are light like white and p salmon salmon rose salmon pink I think or silvery rose I think that's it um, and apricot peach and those are all really great they also have ones called copper red and there's some kind of black night one or something like that I'm trying to blank um, I have them all so I will probably start some early the lighter ones and some a little later that um, are darker for the idea of having you know something light through the summer and the dark colors in the fall we can seem to keep the um, straw flowers alive even after frost they don't look good right now but they're still alive ish but we'll we'll end up replacing them so they're kind of hardy but um well just get those if you want to follow along on that the next thing uh other things includes all the sunflowers that you love doesn't matter you know what kind we only grow single ones we don't grow br branching ones and our favorites are sun rich and pro cut and those are the ones that we really like in all the different colors so sunflowers is coming up celosia is also coming up we grow mostly the um chief um group for um a head you know a, a big head um but um the ones that we, we like the best are the pampas plumes and the spicatas and they are just great for bouquets and whatnot and there's all kinds of colors they got a whole bunch of new pinks and we can go because celosia is a fall crop for us it's one of our larger fall crops so um, we kind of go with the darker colors and then the last things are marigolds and um, zinnias and just get what you like on the marigolds there's just as long as they say African tall that's the kind you want for a bouquet and um, or if you want it like me I do both I'm going to have a whole lot of uh, short ones for landscaping and around my tomatoes and peppers and you know just for color everywhere pots just yeah you know, I'm gonna have lots of them and zinnias um, get the benaries or the um, da uh, da giant dahlia uh, giant dahlia um, variety um those are tall enough to for bouquets uh, we also grow a lot to oklahoma series in all the colors there and the queen series which are beautiful blush and lime blush and um, peach and uh what do they call it splotch <laughs> I don't know <laughs> anyway but that's the stuff that the seeds that are coming up so that kind of gives you a little bit of uh, you know advanced notice <laughs> on what we're going to be doing so that's about all of them at that I can think of at this point and I know there will be more in the future um, you know things like maybe gumfrina and broom corn and things of like that so hope you enjoyed this list of flowers that we're gonna and vegetables we're gonna get started and we want you to stay safe and be well and healthy and we'll catch you on the next one thank you bye
bye